They ruled the earth for over 160 million years, thriving in dense forests, vast deserts, and lush coastal regions. Dinosaurs were the kings and queens of their time, but something took them out of the picture in a dramatic and definitive way. What really happened at the end of the dinosaur era? Was it just the impact of a meteor? Or is there more to this story than we imagine? Welcome to Futuristic Findings, the channel that unravels the mysteries of the universe and science. My name is Robert, and in today's episode, we'll explore the latest scientific advancements and theories that challenge everything you thought you knew about the extinction of dinosaurs. Get ready for a journey through time to uncover the secrets of the past. What really killed the dinosaurs? 66 million years ago, Earth experienced one of the most catastrophic events in its history, an event that marked the end of the dinosaurs, creatures that had dominated the planet for ages. But what truly happened on that fateful day? Let's delve into the clues and theories scientists are uncovering to this day. Dinosaurs first appeared during the Triassic period, about 230 million years ago, and thrived through the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. Their diversity was astonishing. From colossal herbivores like Argentinosaurus, weighing up to 100 tons and stretching over 30 meters in length, to small carnivores like Compsognathus, about the size of a house cat, they evolved to adapt to a vast range of habitats and climates. For over 160 million years, these creatures ruled the Earth. But everything changed abruptly at the end of the Cretaceous. In 1980, scientists Luis and Walter Alvarez proposed the hypothesis that an asteroid was the primary cause of the dinosaur's extinction. Their theory was based on the discovery of a layer of iridium in the geological record, a rare element on Earth but abundant in asteroids. This layer, found in multiple locations around the globe, marks the boundary between the Cretaceous and Paleogene periods. According to scientists, the impact occurred in what is now the Yucatan Peninsula, creating the Chicxulub Crater, approximately 150 kilometers in diameter. The asteroid, estimated to be 10 to 15 kilometers wide, released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The impact generated shockwaves, massive tsunamis, widespread wildfires, and a dust cloud that blocked sunlight for years, triggering a global climate collapse. Although the asteroid's impact was catastrophic, it was not the sole factor in the extinction of such incredible creatures. A single asteroid, much smaller than Earth, could not have eradicated all the dinosaurs across the planet. The volcanic eruptions of the Deccan Traps in what is now India had already been altering the global climate. These eruptions, which spanned thousands of years before and after the impact, released vast amounts of carbon dioxide and sulfur into the atmosphere. This created a massive layer of pollutants on the planet's surface, initially causing global warming and acid rain. The dust cloud already generated by the volcanic eruptions was exacerbated by the asteroid's impact, one of the event's most devastating consequences. When the asteroid collided with Earth, it instantly vaporized millions of tons of rock, launching particles and debris into the atmosphere at incredible speeds. This fine dust and sulfate particles remain suspended in the air, forming an opaque barrier that blocks sunlight for months or even years. Without sunlight, photosynthesis halted on a global scale, causing food chains to collapse from plants to the largest predators. Moreover, the combination of dust and released gases contributed to extreme global cooling, known as the impact winter, as sunlight was no longer reaching the Earth's surface. Temperatures plummeted abruptly, rendering many environments uninhabitable for most of the fauna of that era. Studies suggest that these climatic effects may have lasted up to a decade, further amplifying the biodiversity loss and compounding the effects of the asteroid impact. Additionally, recent research sheds new light on the end of the dinosaurs. Studies suggest that even before the asteroid impact and volcanic eruptions, dinosaur populations were already in decline. Fossil analyses reveal a drop in species diversity near the end of the Cretaceous, possibly due to habitat fragmentation and competition with other groups, such as mammals. This decline in species diversity may have been influenced by significant tectonic and climatic changes occurring at the end of the Cretaceous. The fragmentation of the supercontinent Gondwana and the formation of new oceans drastically altered ecosystems, creating physical barriers that isolated populations and limited genetic exchange between species. Additionally, climatic fluctuations such as gradual cooling and changes in sea levels 
affected the dinosaurs' traditional habitats, reducing foraging areas and disrupting food chains. This combination of factors not only hindered the adaptation of many species, but also provided a competitive edge to emerging groups like mammals and primitive birds, which were more agile and versatile in transforming environments. But the question remains, why couldn't large, robust creatures like dinosaurs survive these environmental changes, while much smaller mammals and insects did? Dinosaurs, despite their immense strength and size, were highly specialized and dependent on stable ecosystems for survival. When the asteroids impact and subsequent climate changes cause food chains to collapse, these giants struggled to find enough sustenance to support their massive bodies. Furthermore, many dinosaur species had long reproductive cycles, making it difficult for their populations to recover quickly from declines. In contrast, smaller and more adaptable mammals could exploit underground shelters to escape extreme conditions and survive on varied diets. Insects, even more resilient, could feed on decaying organic matter and proliferate rapidly in hostile environments. This flexibility was crucial for the survival of these smaller creatures, while the dinosaurs perished. In this sense, natural selection proved to be cruel to these giant reptiles. Despite their apparent extinction, dinosaurs did not vanish completely. Their descendants, birds, continue to thrive in every corner of the planet. The extinction of the great reptiles paved the way for the rise of mammals and, eventually, the evolution of humans. But how did reptiles give rise to birds and later mammals? That's a great question for a future video. Thus, the Cretaceous Paleogene mass extinction is not just an end, but also a beginning. It highlights both the fragility and resilience of life on Earth, reminding us of how catastrophic events have shaped our world. What truly killed the dinosaurs wasn't a single isolated event, but a combination of natural forces that culminated in a global transformation. Each new discovery helps us piece together this fascinating puzzle, revealing one of the most epic stories in our planet's history. Now, we invite you to discover why space is dark or what would happen if Earth stopped spinning. Join us as we explore the greatest mysteries of the universe and science by subscribing to our channel.